Hey guys, Will from MachineLoveUs.com here with a new project to start today, which is I am calling Start Track. And what this will be is a tracking a system for tracking um, startups. So uh, this came about from a Reddit question in the Data Science channel about how to go about tracking companies. Uh, from there, I thought, why not? make something because that seems to be valuable about tracking uh, an information project about tracking uh, companies of course this already exists in things like crunchbase uh, unfortunately you have to purchase crunchbase pro to get more of the data and um, you know to be able to look at charts advanced search alerts uh, and and so why not try and build this ourselves a little bit? Uh, this is $29 a month build annually. So this is going to be at least 300, uh, over $300 when you try and look at this data that Crunchbase already has. So why don't we go about getting this data ourselves? Okay, and so to do that, what I'm gonna start with, we, we need to start with a base set of companies and this site, uh, angel.co, has this database uh, that you can browse. It's not the main purpose of the site, but they have startups, uh, at least, that you can browse. So why, why don't we grab this information from here, uh, save it, and then start to build pipelines, finding out about more, uh, more of this data. So what we are going to do in this episode is just start to grab the data out of this table get it into a format that we can eventually use. But right now, what we're going to do is use Selenium to scrape, go to this web page and scrape this information. Okay, so what I've set up so far is just, I have my terminal, I have a Python 3.6 environment uh, that, I've, that I've set up with Pi Inveve, uh, Pi virtual environment. So I believe the syntax is going to be uh, Python 3 and virtual environment, right. And then you can set, I set mine to be start track. And then I installed a bunch of requirements. We are going to need uh, many things, but the, t the typical thing to get data from web pages is beautiful soup. Uh, we're also going to need though Selenium because this page uh, it takes a little while to load. It's uh, loaded dynamically, and if we don't use Selenium, we will get results back faster than uh, this page takes to load. Okay, so after playing around a bit, I was able to come up with a small script that does this, and I'll step through it. All we really need is uh, Selenium and Beautiful Soup. You can pip install Beautiful Soup. I believe it might be uh, BS4. Let's see, pip install BS4. Uh, right, and I already have it satisfied. So that was pip install BS4 to get beautiful soup. Then you can do brew install uh, Chrome driver. We're going to need that for to drive around on uh, on Google Chrome. You can use Firefox. You can use something else. Uh, whatever. Uh, you are used to uh, You're also going to need to pip install selenium. So why not go ahead? Get those items chrome driver may take uh, a little while to install there are other instructions If you don't have brew if you don't know how to use brew on getting chrome driver Installed on your system. Okay, so let's start. I'm going to use uh, vim here. So let's start uh, with a by making a script, let's call it scrape, and then we're going to do from selenium import web driver, and then from BS4 import beautiful soup. And then what we need right off the bat is we need to know our URL, and our URL is going to be this uh, angel.co company site because this is where uh, our data lives that we want to get. Okay, and then how we actually access this URL, you could use request, you could use uh, URL lib, uh, but what I'm going to do is actually access it 
uh, by doing a browser by making a browser object and that's going to be web driver uh, dot uh, browser let's see if that's it and then browser we're going to pass in the URL okay it's it's actually not webdriver.browser it's webdriver uh, dot chrome and then browser pass in the URL let's print out what browser is and let's make sure that we're getting something I expect this to be an object so I could do Python scrape and what's happening is uh, Chrome is trying to open up a new an actual new tab so that it can get to that site uh, but it looks like uh, something we did is not uh, is not working okay so it looks like we can't actually print the type of browser but what I can do instead is go to browser I got URL uh, what we all everything we did before then look at the page source and then print the HTML just to see what we get so let's see what we get when we do that okay so another piece of this what you need to do prior is or what you need to do at starting at this point is start to understand how this HTML is structured and you can do that by going to viewing the developer tools and when you go in Chrome view developer tools you could start to see the layout of the page in all of the different divs and this will give us a clue on how to scrape this site uh, in the future so what we could do if we wanted to know the market is look at the div uh, with the class name of market to eventually get this attribute from beautiful soup so that's view developer tools to start and look at the source of the page to understand how the page is laid out uh, to better scrape it okay so here we printed out just a whole mess of uh, of HTML but what's interesting about this is that it doesn't have uh, the data for the companies because it has returned so if I look for iris automation in here the data returned faster than uh, than the page loaded so what we what we need to do at this point is we need to wait for the page to load and how we can do that is we can import time and then have the Python program sleep for a little bit I put 10 seconds just to be safe that might be a little too aggressive but that what that will do is allow the page to load so that we get the results so that we allow the page to, re to load before we start to scrape it so you can see that the the program is running here waiting that 10 seconds while the page loads the page at this point has fully loaded and so this should return and now iris automation should be in the list the data that has been returned here and what we can do now is is now that we have it we can start manipulating this this page source this data okay so what i'm what i'm going to do next is actually pass this page source into beautiful soup so the the typical uh the typical syntax here is that you you say soup is equal to beautiful soup then you can pass this source and then what i'm going to do is pass a parser this is just recommended best practice to pass the type of parser that you want to use i'm going to use html and then there are things that we can do with um with beautiful soup uh sometimes i personally find it a bit tricky uh, to get exactly right so for the meantime what I'm gonna do is save this soup to a text file and then output uh, the beautiful soup to this text file so that we can look at uh, look at the result so how I do that is with open uh, with open I'm gonna and I'm gonna name it scrape.txt write um, let's see soup dot save I believe that's a syntax I'm just gonna check that really quick 
Okay, so what I actually need to do is with open script a text uh, as file, I'll call it, then file.write, file.write uh, string. I'm going to write the string of soup. I'm going to turn it all into a HTML, all into a string, and save it there. Okay, so let's let's see let's see this run, and see if we get a scrape.txt file with all of the HTML from that page in that output file. Okay, so beautiful soup has loaded the page. The Python program is sleeping for a little while, and we have an error. File is not defined. Okay, let me uh, debug this for a sec. Okay, so I had an extra line here that was file and didn't know what that variable was. So let's try this again. <clears throat> You'll notice I'm starting to rack up a number of Chrome instances here in the bottom as I debug this. That's perfectly normal. Okay, so it looks like it worked. So let's take a look at the text file that we saved. Uh, let's see, what do we call it? We called it... We called it scraped.txt. Okay, so let's open scraped.txt. Okay, so that eventually loaded, and here you can see uh, that all of that data that was on that page about companies I now have in this text file. So here is paired, and there's the link joined. I have all of this information about these companies. And now this is the very beginning of, of the data that we'll use to form this information project, this start track, uh, <clears throat> this start track project that we are building here. So next time what we'll do is, is pare this down, maybe work with Beautiful Soup a bit more, and then get this actually into a database uh, and start working with it. So everyone, thank you for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, tell me if this is the kind of project that you are interested in seeing me work through all of the different features on. Maybe use AWS, maybe use Lambda, uh, and get this working uh, to the best of our ability. So uh, I appreciate all the feedback, and we will talk soon.